What's up, guys? You know who it is. Midwest 2 Review here back again. Man, these allergies are killing me today. But um, we're out here in the shop trying to get some things cleaned up, trying to get some things organized. And I picked up a couple things over the weekend that I want to kind of share with you guys and just kind of show you what I picked up and uh, what I paid for it. Uh, not the best haul I've ever had as far as cost, but um, did pick up a couple, a couple things or a few things rather. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it, uh, nonetheless, based on based upon the cost that it would have um, I would have had uh, had I bought them brand new. So let's right let's get right into it. So um, really nothing much changed up here. You guys know what this is. Um, haven't done a whole lot. I know I said I wasn't gonna put put any stickers on there, man, but I don't know. I've been using these uh, gray pneumatic sockets a lot lately and uh also the capri stuff and i just decided well you know what i'm gonna go ahead and put these on the box um i can take them off at any point in time but i just wanted to rep these two brands because i'm really happy with the quality um of the tools that they make so shout out to capri shout out to gray pneumatic all right so the first thing i got um i picked up a new ratchet you guys know how i am i did order the new uh matco with the blue handle That'll be here pretty soon. My guy, Terry Gilbert, uh, is uh, my Matco dealer, and he's already got my order in. So hopefully I'll have that by next week, and I can show you guys that, and then to simply add it to the collection of ratchets. Ratchet game is pretty strong right now, as you guys can see. Snap-on Mac, Matco, uh, Carlisle, um, you name it. I've got a little bit of everything in here, but the, the dominant um, brand is going to be um, Snap-on at the moment. And that's probably how it's going to be. But I picked up this guy here. This is a uh, Snap-on. It's got the USA head. I prefer anything that says USA on it, uh, to be honest with you, because Snap-on switched to the non-marking USA heads, and it made, it was really questionable. And I know there's a lot of controversy out there about whether or not they offshore a lot of their business or not. But this one here is an FX80A, um, US patent, um, USA-made ratchet really nice um action does you know given the age of it i'll let you guys hear it sounds pretty good i did open it up clean it out a little bit everything looked okay but i guess it's probably just some general wear um but i did order a new rebuild kit from snap-on that should be here uh within the uh coming week or so so i got that guy i think i paid like 40 dollars for it a little bit more than what i traditionally pay um, you guys know me, I get ratchets for 10, 15, 20 bucks, and uh, that one's about twice as much as what I would have normally wanted to pay. But I do have this one here. It's got a locking flex head body, but as you guys can see, it does not have the grooves in there, so uh, it is none locking. I just, I had the shaft, I had the head, just married the two together, and Bob's your uncle. So I've got official locking flex head now, snap on um, in this particular collection. I don't think. Yeah, that's the only locking flex head snap-on I've got. Um, I prefer the Matco style, as you guys can see. Um, so that's what I've been going to here lately. But the snap-on was a good a good price, and I thought we would go ahead and add it to the collection. So I think we're sitting at like 20-plus snap-on ratchets, which is good. A little excessive, but it's good. Um, the next thing I picked up uh, is I got more uh, screwdrivers here. So all of these here on top are new. All the ones in the bottom I've already had. Uh, I did have to warranty one of them out. I think it's this guy here, which is a flathead. And as you guys can see, the uh, previous owner did a little bit of work on the head there, on the blade. That's your part number. So I picked that one up as well. I got this whole set here. He does owe me one or two more, but I got the whole set for like 25 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty decent deal. And it, it rounds me out completely as far as the instinct handle or comfort grip screwdriver. So I've got the small guys, got the big guys, got the medium size. I'm pretty good. Even got a couple cabinet screwdrivers in the back. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing very much more with um, screwdrivers at this time. Um, and this drawer here, nothing new. Wrench game still where it's at. Uh, looked at a couple snap-on wrenches, but I haven't pulled a trigger on anything major. Um, as far as my plier drawer and over, so over um, excess sockets there, nothing really new other than the stuff that my guy Darian sent me. Got all that added in there. Um, my son, for some reason, stole my uh, 
Mac um, Lyman pliers here. Found those in his bedroom, so who knows what he was doing with those. Um, but I got those added back. But plier game looking pretty strong. Um, all my excess ratchets, or sockets rather, they're in there as well. So nothing new with that. Um, and this drawer here, oh, here's the third thing. So I picked up this set from the same guy. Um, get these back in frame there. It's a complete set of 3H drive. Um, these are the Wobble Plus extensions. Um, this is pretty cool. So uh, there you go. Uh, so one and a half inch, three inch, four inch, six inch, eight inch, and 11 inch. Um, you guys know it. And so where's your part number? There's your part number 206 AF w AFXWP, six piece Wobble Plus extension set. Picked this up from that guy, uh, gave me a great deal on these. I think I looked these up online on a Snap-on site and these were like 217 and I got these for, I think it was like $100. Um, so that was pretty cool. Very, very happy with this set here. Um, I would have liked to pay less, but given the price that it would cost brand new, I think I got a pretty good deal. I don't know what you guys think. I do have, um, I haven't opened it yet. I don't know. Um, I guess I could open it. I, I do plan to use it. Um, so I guess I can go ahead and crack that open. Um, I also, I have some Snap-on extensions already, as you guys can see. These are some of the FXK8 and what is this one here? An FXK3 and then that one is a uh, wobble but not a wobble plus and an fxw3 so got those also have a 24 inch long one there but i really really wanted this set here um really really happy to have it and this is actually the very first snap-on tool other than things that i've gotten warranty that um has been brand new um still in the package when i got it and I almost question this access, what I'm doing right now, I almost question if I wanted to do it. Um, Cause I'm like, man, I don't need to really open them if I'm not going to use them right now, if I don't need them to use them right now. I know some guys will say that they, um, they won't open some things up because if they ever plan to trade it in, I guess it has more value if it's unopened, but that's not the case with me. I'm not trading these in for anything. I don't even have a snap on dealer, so. Um, my guys are tired now so yeah so i'm really happy with that set here you go nice you know nice plastic mold, um, blow molded case that we've all come accustomed to um and then like i said the wobble plus setup so that's pretty cool i'm really happy about these never use um, brand spanking new so really really happy to have that some of these small ones here which are really cool i really needed those for my bm my, my bmw project because I had to utilize, I don't even know where I did with them now. I had to utilize these gray pneumatics here. Um, and I needed like a combination of like the uh, my standard six inch long sock or extension and one of these. And then the ratchet was what I needed to get in the very back part of the engine. Because I didn't want to take apart all of the... the um, air, um, the fil filter housing and all of that for the uh, cabin air filter. So um, yeah, I'm glad because I didn't really want to use a impact because I'm not using an impact to take this, the plugs out, but I didn't have the proper setup with the Chrome. So now I do really happy about that. Just a small little haul guys, nothing spectacular. Um, there's my garage cat right there coming in. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing, you know, too dramatic. Just a couple little things to kind of add to the uh, overall setup here at home. Um, overall, guys, the Matco Jamestown box. Just a real quick update on that. Really, really nice box, guys. I, I know there's a lot of people out there. Got Mac box, you know, like CP uh, Tool Addict. He's got the Maximizer. There's other people that's got the Snap Ons. Um, they're all nice, man. But for me personally, I like this box here. I, I couldn't see buying any other box. Uh, it's, it's all about preference and uh, my preference is to have this guy here. Um, I don't, I didn't, I thought I would like the slide top um, feature of it, but this, this setup here is not bad. I don't use the very top of the lid anyway with the stainless steel because I ain't about scratching that. But um, this surface here is more than enough for me. I've got a workbench that's eight or nine inches or nine feet long over there. I've got tons of workspace to, to hammer on things and whatnot. So 
I'm not going to beat my box up. And this was my very first professional grade box. So don't want to damage it up. But overall, guys, I'm very, very happy with it. I think my collection of tools is coming along. Um, everything's pretty much high quality in this box. So I'm happy with it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're interested in doing uh, me doing a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, toolbox tour. Uh, kind of let you know, just kind of go over everything. Uh, let me know if you guys, leave, me, leave it down in the comment section what you think about that. Uh, don't forget to check me out on uh, Instagram at Midwest underscore tool underscore review. Um, I always post a lot of cool things there that are related to tools, some, thing, some things that are not. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, stay safe out there, guys. Don't be doing all that stupid rioting and protesting. Uh, and just uh, keep to what you know and stay true to yourself. All right, guys, catch me on the next one. Peace.